Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and it's been some time since I've done a grooming video, so I figured it was time to do a little refresh. In this video, I'm gonna be going over the most important grooming and hygiene tips for men that you're probably neglecting, and from a woman's perspective, we're noticing. Also, to make it extra easy for you guys, everything I've mentioned in this video will be linked down in my description. Number one, we have scheduled maintenance. Let me explain. For all my car guys out there, you wouldn't dare miss a scheduled maintenance appointment for your beloved vehicle, so why on earth would you miss one for yourself? Show yourself some TLC and treat yourself like you would your dream car. You are the dream car. Become a regular at your barber shop to start. Go in for those routine haircuts and make it a part of your schedule. A fresh haircut works absolute wonders and keeps you looking sharp. If you're a guy with shorter hair, you know when your hair starts to grow out a little bit, you get the stragglers down on your neck, you get the things going on everywhere. It just doesn't look clean or tidy or trimmed up. And when you go in for those routine appointments, you keep yourself looking fresh and sharp, which is always a good thing. But I will mention, I'm talking everywhere, not just your head. Keep things trim and tidy. Use your imagination here, gentlemen. I'll be discussing this more in depth later in the video, so make sure you stick around until the very end. Also, 70% of you are not subscribed to my channel, so what the heck are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and like this video while you're at it. Number two, we have the tried and true skincare routine. I mention this time and time again, and that is for good reason. This one is especially important as we enter the colder months. If you're a guy who does not live somewhere cold and you live somewhere warm, don't rub it in. I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. Taking care of your skin is important and the better you are about it now, the better you'll look in years to come. A skincare routine can make you look more awake and more refreshed, which is why I am so crazy about having one. And I personally highly recommend Apricus Skincare. This is a super easy three-step routine with everything I recommend starting with. First to start, we have the face wash. You're gonna use this morning and night. This will not dry out your skin, which is perfect for these colder winter months. You all need to be using a cleanser, trust me. Next, we have the exfoliating scrub here that you should be using two to three times a week. This is going to scrub away all that dead, flaky skin and make your skin appear brighter and healthy instead of dry and dull. It also helps unclog your pores and makes your skin feel smoother and not over irritated. After you use this exfoliating scrub, you will quite literally never go back to a life without one. And step number three is the moisturizer that you will also use morning and night after you've cleansed and exfoliated. This will leave you with noticeably smoother and softer skin. It's also a non-greasy or shiny finish, which is great for all my oily guys out there. I have said to you guys so many times that girls love when guys take care of their skin. It makes you stand out in the best way because so many guys are not doing it. So absolutely no more excuses as to why you don't have a skincare routine. This is so convenient and simple to use. And if you forget how to use it, it tells you exactly how to on the back of the bottle. So if you don't have a routine yet, this comes with everything you need to start. You can click the link down in my description box. Point number three is to scrub your body. Some of you are really out here getting in the shower and considering yourself clean after just letting the water hit you. It's not enough. I can smell you from here. All jokes aside, water is not enough. You absolutely need to be using some type of soap. And I would also strongly recommend using some sort of tool to scrub your body that will do a heck of a lot more than your hands do. I personally have a silicone body scrubber because a loofah holds a lot of bacteria. Same deal with a washcloth and it just freaks me out. So do what is best for you, but for everyone's sake around you, use soap. Number four is a tongue scraper and overall dental hygiene. You're never fully dressed without a smile, they say, so make it a good one. Dental hygiene is important for health reasons, obviously, I feel like I don't even need to mention that, but also aesthetic ones. Brush your teeth, going back to the very basics here, uh, don't forget to do that. Also, I would recommend an electric toothbrush. I have found that my teeth feel a lot better and look a lot better ever since I switched to an electric toothbrush instead of just a regular one. Don't forget to floss every day. And also, something that a lot of people don't do, I personally have been doing this since high school, it's always been second nature to me, but every time I bring it up to people, they're like, huh? Use a tongue scraper. I personally don't know anyone else who uses one of these, which is actually shocking. No wonder so many of you are out here with stanky breath. And I will tell you the benefits of this if you don't believe me. Cleaning your tongue is important to keep that bad bacteria as well as food debris and dead cells that may accumulate there from causing trouble. It can improve your sense of taste and get rid of bad breath. Basically, after you're done brushing your teeth, you just stick your tongue out, scrape your tongue. When you see what comes off of your tongue, you will thank me. That's all I'm gonna say. My next step is to please, please, please don't forget deodorant. 
And I wanted to share this one with all of you guys because I recently swapped to a natural deodorant, which in the past I used one that absolutely didn't work and actually made me sweat. I'm not a sweaty gal, but it made me sweat and made me smell not so hot, all right? So I was so excited to find one that actually worked and wanted to share it with all of you. I truly feel like I have found a treasure because like I mentioned, I've never been able to find a natural deodorant without aluminum that works. And the reason why I'm telling all of you this is because I go to a pretty hardcore gym, all right? It's full of very masculine lifting guys that just really, you know, they do a great job, but a lot of them forget to put deodorant on, all right? And I can smell it. I've had to hold my breath during sets before. And you know, I'm totally all about getting your workout in, not caring what you look like necessarily. You're there to work out, but please don't forget to use deodorant. So you're great, love ya, but you need to be using deodorant. My next tip here, number six, is to keep things tidy. I'm talking about your nails, your rogue nose hairs, your southern regions, all of the above. Little things like this that you think us women don't notice, we do. And even if we don't notice it, you should be doing these things anyway. So let's start from the beginning here. Long fingernails on guys, they freak me out. I know so many other women feel the same way. I've had men comment that you need long nails to play guitar, but then I've had other men who play guitar comment and say that's a myth and you don't actually need long nails. So I don't know what you guys are doing. Whatever your hobbies are, if you need a certain thing, you know, that's all up to you. You do what's best for you, but I will just tell you from a woman's perspective, and even if you don't care about a woman's perspective, okay? Long nails, they attract dirt and debris. My nails are long and it freaks me out, but it's especially freaky to me on men. Um, maybe that that is a little bit double standard-ish of me and I realize that, but I personally just don't like long nails on a guy and I know so many other women feel that way too. But more importantly than just that, it attracts dirt and germs and bacteria. It looks a little cruddy. Um, if you're gonna be intimate with women, you wanna be making sure you're trimming your nails, do what you will with that information. Um, but yes, from a woman's perspective, please trim your nails. Regarding the rogue nose hairs, when you're leaning in to kiss us, it goes a lot smoother if your lips touch me before your nose hairs do. And in terms of your southern regions, you don't need to look like a naked mole rat down there, all right? It's all right. Just keep it trim and tidy like you would your face. If you're a guy with a beard, that might not be equivalent for you, but you know what I mean. The lady in your life, if you have one, will notice and will appreciate this. A lot of us ladies shave or wax or get laser treatments from basically head to toe, so you guys can make a little bit of a compromise here. And lastly, number seven is a signature scent. A signature scent and a fragrance in general is the icing on the cake to a well-groomed and well-dressed man. Finding your signature scent is a great way to stand out, as fragrance is a way to create an experience and leave a lasting impression. If you smell as great as you look, she'll be going in for that hug on the regular. And remember, the fragrance doesn't make the man, the man makes the fragrance. If you need any fragrance recommendations, I have an entire fragrance channel here on YouTube. I also frequently post about fragrances over on my Instagram account and I'm the new girl in town over on TikTok and I have been posting some fragrance videos over there as well. So be sure to give me a follow if you haven't already. All right, guys, that is all I have for seven grooming and hygiene tips for men that women notice. Again, putting the women aspect aside here, I you know, try to give a woman's perspective on my channel since I am indeed a woman. I don't know what any of the things on this list are like from a man's point of view necessarily, but I can give you a woman's point of view. If you don't care about that, that's totally fine. But I think at the end of the day, being well-groomed and taking care of yourself makes you feel more confident, it boosts your self-esteem, and helps in every area of your life, your romantic one included. If you like this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well and TikTok as I mentioned earlier in the video. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.